Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today uh, we're going to be unpacking um, uh, a rare, a great and uh, old um, computer from the 80s. Um, a Japanese computer uh, which was really a great attempt for the Japanese um, to enter the home computer market uh, back in the beginning of the 80s and apparently uh, they made it but not with this particular model not this particular uh, home computer which uh, introduced back in 82 and it's the famous uh, Sword M5 uh, by Takara uh, Limited so uh, they made it uh, later on uh, with um, alliance of many companies uh, producing and presenting the MSX computers around the world. Now, Sword M5 um, was launched in uh, 1982 in Japan um, and could be found under the name of CGL M5 in the UK, uh, but it wasn't very successful or not successful at all uh, um, to the rest of Europe, except for Czechoslovakia back then, as it used to be. And uh, this um, computer has a story to tell about this. There was a computer store uh, under the name of Tuzex. can't remember if it was in Prague or in Bratislava or both. Um, with some special um, import, uh, they could um, distribute the computer um, around Czechoslovakia. But it was hard and expensive as these guys wanted always to get dollars um, in order to uh, sell sword uh, around Czechoslovakia it was only possible to pay dollars or any other hard currency uh, of that time um, or you could buy a special voucher they used to have a Tuzex crowns uh, and then you could exchange um, dollars again in the bank to get the the voucher um, and the other thing you could do you could get two six crowns or this voucher uh, in the black market so it was a hard period I guess one two six crown um, was equal to five check crowns back then so it was in any case a success um, in Czechoslovakia and um, here we can see there is a um, basic F box uh, hopefully we have uh, the booklet uh, the manual and the cartridge inside and we have another cartridge here um, which is the word master rings a bell we can check this later on uh, but this one really looks uh, intact and I'm happy about it um, very well packed uh, thanks to this uh, Czech guy uh, that sold it uh, to me and um, I think yeah, it's in great great condition I'm, I'm very happy so this is the little story about uh, M5 uh, back in the day and the way it was distributed in Czechoslovakia um, so uh, if you wanna buy one of these probably it's the best uh, place to look for one uh, of these machines, uh, it's rare and it, it's worth every penny. Um, very well designed, very uh, ahead of its time, um, contemporary for 1982, um, well, with um, a great sound, uh, 16 colors, and um, uh, it was based around Z80, the classic uh, uh, solution. Um, as a process, as a central processing unit back then, um, it ha used to have uh, limited RAM though, just uh, four kilobytes of RAM, expandable to 36, and eight uh, kilobytes of ROM, uh, which is pretty good, expandable to 28. Um, the whole operation was uh, mainly. Um, um, based on cartridge, um, 
cartridges like the one we saw before with basic containing basic F and as you can see the box looks in excellent condition um, I'm very pleased with this uh, the box looks fantastic not steady at all after all these years um, the, I mean the guy um, uh, kept this in great condition and the computer itself must uh, have had um, just limited use um, you can tell uh, boxes great fantastic condition so I'm gonna open it up and check the contents together and now the computer comes with built-in basic for beginners and if I remember this right uh, it's basic uh, I the one we have seen the cartridge we have seen in the box which is called basic F uh, is something uh, which is special basic for mathematical functions and scientific um, uh, kind of basic sort of and there was also basic G marked as basic G uh, for better graphics now this is uh, this is great this is thrilling this is the original 2x uh, leaflet and it comes from that store uh, from 2x let's see when with a stump and everything now that's uh, this is thrilling three third of July 1986 wow this is the original 2x uh, receipt or some sort of guarantee or something from that store I've been telling you about wow wow that's thrilling uh, this is a strange PCB here I mm, think could be extra ROM or something we should find out later what else is there silica gel wow this this guy really kept it in great condition uh, there is a tape the music tone uh, okay now this box is complete and in great great shape I'm telling you this is a TV adjustment and a kind of a game another game right there wow I'm thrilled with the 2 um, uh document the word maze uh, the puzzle game we've seen before uh, there is this bag I don't believe this is a 2 bag but uh, some sort of a bag mm, doesn't ring a bell anyways and the computer is uh, coming with yeah this is sword M5 uh, comes with a um, plastic bag around it and this is the huge uh, power supply and uh, several cables I believe it's for the tape recorder and uh, yeah, the, 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 the power outlet and so this is our uh, guy here so the Sword M5 um, in some plastic wrap I don't know if this is original or uh, the previous owner did it on purpose uh, it has Centronics uh, printer out it has a TV out of course uh, the output for uh, the tape recorder and uh, cassette yeah and audio and video out pretty cool uh, very robust very nice design uh, so little reminds me of the ZX Spectrum because it also has rubber keys and it's 693 very wow that's some serial number we have here um, very very early uh, computer made in Ireland well um, again I'm pretty pleased with this um, purchase um, and uh, what else is under the the computer we can find the manual looks like the manual uh, for the basic if I can understand this right oh and a couple of other cartridges or tapes let's see so this is basic I the one that comes as built in uh, the manual for beginners basic I for beginners and we have on the side the box with the other cartridge basic uh, F with a greater uh, mathematical scientific um, characteristics um, 
and this is the manual, some sample programs start typing, start learning in check and um, another manual probably the, the yeah, easy basic for beginners, the I version in English that's great in perfect condition the uh, books as well so I uh, I think it's gonna be uh, whatever uh, is inside the, pretty much the same thing uh, will be inside the box uh, another manual for basic uh, F and uh, the cartridge I haven't opened the um, box yet uh, we can do this later so sample programs uh, some hints and tips everything in great shape so again it was um, a very a, a computer very ahead of its time uh, you can see uh, I call it uh, Japanese excellence uh, back in 82 it wasn't uh, that cheap uh, it was around 200 pounds in England um, distributed as CGL M5 um, so it was the, the price was higher than the uh, uh, average home micro you could get like for example ZX Spectrum or Commodore machines but then again it was something different it was uh, uh, high quality Japanese computer um, and um, I think by the looks of it uh, it was a uh, pity uh, that it didn't make it uh, out in the markets uh, very well uh, and, and now we have here basic uh, I so maybe what is embedded what is it uh, what comes as built in could be basic G after all and here we have a tennis um, real tennis game well wow, quite a full uh, setup we have here um, and again even the box of the game is in great great um, condition so what can I say uh, the thrilling part is to six <laughs> received I, I can't could, I can't believe it but it's it's there and now let me put it aside and uh, check the other box with basic F as you can see it's again in perfect looking uh, condition uh, a plastic heart uh, box with uh, again the uh, uh, manual for basic F in Czech uh, language uh, sample programs again um, scientific uh, science uh, and mathematics um, supportive uh, functions uh, from this um, version of BASIC um, the manual in English uh, by uh, SWORD 82-83 must have been ah, June 84 alright and the cartridge um, in the box so I'm looking forward to test all those um, cartridges and start typing stuff from the manuals uh, hopefully soon uh, once we get the computer up uh, and running so alright everything is in here uh, comes as complete package uh, glad again and let's move to the computer finally and start um, uh, playing with it the look and feel of all the computers from that era uh, is, is so much alike uh, reminds me of ZX Spectrum again but it looks more robust as um, uh, I mean quality wise and, and it doesn't have the edge connector um, let's say um, it has a video out and um, audio out and the sound uh, gets on TV has two joystick uh, or controller uh, right and left controllers Centronics printer port and better um, so um, uh, yeah connectors like five uh, 18 for the cassette uh, which is kind of weird 
and 16 for um, the power um, supply I have connected the power supply not in the mains yet um, so it looks like a better quality product um, than and again, and again excuse me my first and my favorite computer is ZX Spectrum but this is far a uh, better um, machine uh, although the rubber keyboard re reminds you uh, of ZX Spectrum and the whole uh, construction but it looks like more robust to me so let's see the computer in its full glory I removed a plastic, the strange plastic but useful plastic cover from uh, the keyboard and here we have our guy um, the uh, plastic gray cover because it is a cover reveals the uh, cartridge or cassette compartment along with some um, useful instructions and shortcuts for the keys for the key operation and the standard message uh, when loading and unloading uh, placing in or taking out the cartridge the computer should be off power right and here is the compartment for the cartridge or cassette the, the right way to put it uh, here is the graphic the figure that shows you how you do this very clever um, you close the compartment everything gets back to normal uh, the brick uh, gives us 5 volts stabilized and 12 at the same time so it's a dual operation a dual voltage um, power brick um, it is on mains I try to um, to turn it on but it wouldn't uh, turn on um, I was looking for um, an auto switch on the side of the computer but it's not there it's on the side of the brick actually and now as we speak this one is on but uh, no sign of life no lead um, uh, coming up so what I did um, uh, I, I tried to uh, check the um, power um, on the 15 uh, connector and it was a zero using my multimeter I checked the uh, 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 connector and what we get is a zero volt um, and so I decided to uh, open it, this thing, the brick, and check um, quickly. Check uh, how it is um, from the inside. Um, I believe suspect number one is this set of electrolytic capacitors. Um, we have dual voltages, uh, five and twelve, right here, two twenty, coming from back there, uh, and we have two regulators, uh, one for stabilizing. Um, 12 and the one to stabilize 5 so I will start with uh, quite a disappointment I will start uh, by changing um, the full set of the electrolytic capacitors in the future and uh, hopefully I can fix it and prepare another video for this yeah quite disappointing but um, eh, that's life um, th thanks for watching guys I'll be catching you soon with part number 2 I believe uh, I'll try to uh, fix the power supply and get it up, the computer up and running. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, consider subscribing. Um, if you like this stuff, give it a thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching again. Um, hopefully, it will be uh, an easy um, power supply fix. And I'll get back to you soon. Bye.